Hello, bootlickers, shields, debt slay, serfs, peasants, vassals, minions, meat sacks, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. I'm Useful Idiot. Welcome. And uh, let's go back to the USA, and I'm doing, uh, I think, third in a series of uh, videos that uh, kind of highlight numbers and, and different ways that numbers are used in all these different stories. So, so not only are these stories themselves of interest, but the fact that uh, they're all uh, using numbers for a certain effect or uh, these numbers have a certain effect and uh, so therefore that is the theme and a lot of these numbers I'm talking about are just uh, uh, interesting in the fact that they're so large uh, and in this case it's going to be speculating on what the real number of uh, police shootings of uh, citizens in the US is yearly I think the established number right now is a thousand a year, and uh, and while I bring that up, I want to bring up the uh, factoid that came out recently that in the mo month of March, uh, last month, 2015, uh, the United States police killed more people in one month than the UK police killed in the entire 20th century. A very interesting factoid, indeed. So the the common number especially now that we have uh, citizens and uh, citizens watching uh, police uh, killings and uh, just police actions in general we're now getting a better picture of how many people are killed by cops every year and before it was difficult because the police reported it and uh, the figures were uh, were uh, uh, obstructed uh, FBI and other agencies kind of obstruct the numbers and also it's a, a voluntary system so police departments uh, can give in whatever numbers uh, they want or not and uh, they can also have different methodologies for who they count uh, as an official uh, justifiable homicide of a, a suspect and, uh, and let's, so let's talk about the methodology a little bit first because uh, they, to be included in the official numbers the case must involve uh, quote a justifiable homicide of a felon by a law enforcement while on duty, unquote. So, of course, that eliminates a lot of uh, uh, fatalities that are done by off-duty police. Um, uh, police uh, uh, just recently off-duty, as well as domestic violence cases, and, uh, and also the, the fact that it has to be uh, a felon. So uh, that eliminates an entire category, particularly used in uh, uh, poor communities, of people who are executed and committing a misdemeanor or no crime at all. And let's remember that uh, things like a chokehold for a misdemeanor uh, would not be counted in this. So, uh, so, but that's, you know, that spreads out the uh, different ways that uh, police kill citizens too, which, you know, is not also not going to be counted in uh, shootings. So if we have a thousand shootings a year, it doesn't count the fact that, uh, the, uh, the, for example, someone is uh, strangled in a chokehold, or a recent story I'll attach below of a, a, a man being mauled to death by a police dog. Um, so there's a so there's a lot of problems with the methodology, and uh, and also if it's uh, somebody who's shot by mistake, for example, the guy with the uh, uh, air gun wanting to purchase an air gun at Walmart and he's shot by the police well he wasn't committing a felon so he's not counted so the uh, plethora of uh, police shootings we see of people who are unarmed and are not uh, committing any kind of a uh, felon or, or are charged with anything necessarily are not counted in these figures and uh, and then when you couple that with the fact that you have um, classes of society uh, that barely count and they're barely documented. Recently, I was uh, reading about uh, a UK phenomenon uh, where the police apparently call uh, an incident no human involvement, uh, NHI. So when it's uh, uh, drug dealers and, and pimps and prostitutes and people who operate in that level of society, uh, they barely even care about documenting documenting them. Uh, whether they're murdered or whether they're even executed by police. So this gives a lot of moral hazard for police out uh, uh, um, 
going into these uh, <laughs> dens of vice, I guess you'd call them, um, and being out there in that world and how easy it would be uh, to find yourself justified um, in killing a lot of people um, at that level of society and not having to really answer for it or uh, account for it. Um, certainly police uh, barely have to account for a lot of activities they have now, particularly when they know they have impunity. And so, uh, but uh, certainly there are uh, incidents of police being shot at as well. 126 police officers were killed in 2014 compared to a thousand citizens killed by police. And um, there's a D Department of Justice report that just came out and said that uh, the police in Philadelphia uh, shot over 400 people in seven years. So once again you see a report like that and you think the one city if in one city 400 people were shot by the police in seven years and extrapolate that over all the major cities across America then the, the numbers we're getting about how many people are being killed uh, and shot by the police every year have to be extremely uh, low um, and, and in fact let's get to this comment, uh, I, I'll attach the article below, and I think it's the article that has this comment attached that used some simple math to present a very different picture of how many uh, people are shot by the police, shot and killed in, in the United States every year. And uh, I thought the, the methodology was so simple and so sound that uh, I, I'm going to bring it up here. And so the FBI stats of 461 people killed by the police in 2013 represented only 7.5 percent of police departments voluntary reporting and so you tie that in with the previous story I talked about a Department of Justice report where they said 400 people were shot by the police uh, in Philadelphia in seven years and granted you spread that out um, and averages out to 80 in that city and um, you couple it with this FBI stat, and only 7.5% of police departments voluntarily reporting. So if you extrapolate that, if only 7.5% are reporting and they came up with 461, and you uh, uh, extrapolate that out, you come up with 6,146 people killed every year in the United States. And uh, I have no way of confirming that, and I certainly have a predisposition to assume uh, that the numbers are low because that's how numbers are used by statist agencies and corporations. And uh, therefore, why would it be any different in this situation? And uh, and then couple that with the, the just the awareness of watching uh, the police shootings unfold out there. Um, we have to imagine that for every one that we see documented, for every one we see, uh, there could very easily be three, two, three, four, five others for every one we see. That doesn't seem implausible to me at all. So to think of a number like 6,146 people killed every year seems like a more likely number. And it could be a little lower than that. It could be a little higher than that. But uh, I think factoring in um, everything I've discussed here, uh, for me, it's fairly convincing argument that uh, the numbers we're getting are, are substantially lower than the reality out there. And uh, if a higher number helps people be even more shocked by what's uh, going on out there, then uh, I want a, a higher number to be published. I don't necessarily want a higher number to occur. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too.